Hello guys, my 2005 Prius needs a new expensive hybrid battery which is more than the car itself. As a first car, I am attached to this and as a poor person, I feel like it's Just to let you know guys that I already drove around 2800 miles before posting this video. I am hoping to drive at least 10,000 miles like I did before. Let's dive into this. Here you can see the triangle of death which means that I need a new battery. I got two options here. I can replace the whole battery pack for $1,500 or I can replace just the bad cells for $30 each. You guessed it right, yes, I'm gonna replace just the bad cells. To track down the bad cells, I'm using OBD2 scanner and the torque app. As you can see, the block 2 has a problem and I have to replace those cells. Prius has its hybrid battery in the trunk. Please be careful, this is an experiment, do it on your own risk. To be safe, on the left side of the trunk, unhook the orange connector. It breaks the hybrid battery circuit. All you have to do is push it apart and take it out. There are multiple layers that keeps the battery intact, so I have to take them apart one by one. First, I have to take out this, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I have to take this out in order to take out the interior covers. Every item you take out of your car, keep it with extreme care. I have to take out the back seats so that I can take out the battery easily. Now I'm taking out the part of fan that keeps battery cool when it's heated. Guys, I insist on keeping these parts with extreme care. This is where I disconnect everything from the Prius hybrid battery. Now I have few more bolts to unscrew. I wish it was as easy as these bolts to unscrew my life. This is the Prius hybrid battery. Please wear gloves when picking up this battery. Last time I almost cut my hands with the sharp edges around it. Here I have the battery in the living room and I have a screwdriver. I will try to take those black cover out with the help of it. Here I unscrewed all the nuts. Last time when I changed two battery cells, I still had the check engine light and the triangle of death. Then I had to come back again and clean the bush bars and nuts with the baking soda and vinegar. Then only I was able to drive. If your bush bars and nuts are corroded, please clean them with the vinegar and the baking soda. This is where I measure individual cells and make a note of it in the paper. As you can see, the cell number four has very low voltage in comparison to others, so I'm changing that one. I have ordered two good cells from eBay for around $60, and let's change them. First, I have to take these four screws out. There are sensors on the top and bottom that are connected with the green wires, so keep that in mind. Make sure the plus minus always alternate. There shouldn't be plus plus or minus minus on the battery cells. Luckily, the bad cells were in block two. So I didn't have to take all of them out. Now it's time to put everything back in. It was very hard for me to put that white outer layer back in last time because the cells were stolen and there wasn't enough space. But if you look at there, I used screwdriver Make sure to use a screwdriver, it's a lot easier. I'm going to let the battery cells balance itself when I drive the car. Now double check it, make sure uh, it's covered and you didn't miss anything and the sensor on the top and the bottom is intact. Now it's time to assemble the battery but uh, before I do that I have to make sure and do the test drive. Therefore I'm just gonna put the first layer back in and do the test drive then only i will put everything back if if it works all the screws for outer layer are done so now i have to reconnect the battery 
make sure to put this main connector back in because I always forget it and, and when I go to start the car it will show me an error now is the moment for truth uh, I'm gonna see if the check engine light and the triangle update is gone or not uh, and then I'm gonna drive for 25 to 30 minutes um, around where I live and see if it if the check engine light comes on or not so luckily everything seems fine and now it's time to put all the covers and all the interior back in all the components related to the hybrid battery are back in place now i have to put the seats back seats back in and then i will start putting the interior Now is the time to put back the left side and the right side of the interior. I usually take a pictures or make a video of everything that I take down and later on I watch the video in reverse so that like I can put everything back in place without forgetting anything like any screws or bolts. Now I put back together the right side of the interior now is the time to put back everything that i took out from the trunk so this is my second time doing it i hope this works like the first time again this is an experiment please be careful the reason i'm fixing this car is it helped me to go through the college with little to no maintenance cost and I don't want to take a loan for thousands of dollars to buy a new car with very high interest. I will fix this car as long as I can. Everything looks great and it only cost me less than $100. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.